How's it going guys? Peep is a couple days late here. They've probably already heard critical talk about this, and you've probably already heard Indian critical talk about this. Now, quite frankly, I feel like I need to talk about this because this is something I've- <laughs> Alright, look, here, here's the backstory. So I'm moving out with my girlfriend by the end of this year, right? Because of YouTube, financially, I'm doing amazing, and I have no one more to thank than you guys, so appreciate that. Love y'all. And you know what? In the moving out process, we've- 100% considered getting a PS5, right? There's a lot of games I want to play that are PS5 exclusive. There's a couple of games that she wants to play on there. Overall, I just want to use it for Netflix. I want to use it for Crunchyroll. You know how it is. Just use it for, like, casual use. And, you know, since this is literally happening in, like, a month or two, right? This was very perfect timing for me because suddenly sony decides to drop the reveal for the ps5 pro i decided to look into it for a bit and jesus christ i've never considered the vanilla option more in my life bro this is probably one of the most underwhelming pro versions of anything of all time and you know the dislikes speak for themselves but real quick before we start today's video we have to maintain traditions on this channel if i hit 148k subs by the end of this week i'll eat the most liked comment common tradition on this channel every time i hit a sub goal i will eat the most liked comment so 148k by the end of this week i promise y'all i got y'all now usually this wouldn't be a problem right if it was only upcharged by like a hundred dollars at the very most then i wouldn't really see a problem with it right that was that's how it was with the ps4 right the ps4 pro was only like a hundred dollars more than the normal ps4 ps4 pro was for like people who just really cared about frames and graphics right but for seven hundred dollars you really are not getting that much in fact you're not really getting anything if anything you're losing things for seven hundred dollars you don't even get a stand for it you don't even get controllers for it all you're getting is a base ps5 with nothing else with stripes which in my opinion kind of make the ps5 look stupider it looks <laughs> it makes it look more like an air conditioner remember those memes that like the ps5 looks like an air conditioner it looks even more like one now i prefer the simplicity of the default one like what's the excuse for this oh more ventilation like i don't get it all right let's get straight to the meat and potatoes why is this so underwhelming for 700 dollars? a 300 dollars increase from the base version and you're losing things rather than gaining things well let me exp let me let me show y'all so they do imply that there's optimized console performance so you get to hit way higher frames which honestly we'll have to experience for ourselves first right right now we're just sort of judging a book by its cover higher frames we'll, we'll have to see about that right and you see this is where it starts to become full of lies this is where they just stop telling the truth advanced ray tracing experience next level realism with ray traced reflections shadows and high quality global illumination as you explore stunning game worlds all right all right See, that sounds a little convincing at first. Uh, let's check out this. Let's check out this advanced ray tracing real quick. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. Yeah. Is the advanced graphics in the room with us right now? May you please point to the difference in detail? It's so hard to tell the difference between these two. Like, honestly, if I shuffle these two images up, it would be almost impossible to tell which one is the PS5 Pro and which one's the PS5. Like, I mean, you could see, like, a difference in the windows, but it's like, is that really worth the $300 upcharge? Like, literally everything else looks the same. Yeah, let's genuinely try to find a difference, right? Hold on, wait. I, I actually have to, like, look closely into this. Like, this text is, like, equally unreadable. Barbed wire. I mean, the shadows look the same. Like, what's the difference here, excluding this little window looking slightly different? I don't see a difference at all. Here's the difference between, a. Uh, Parades and Ratchet and Clank? What am I looking at? It, is the difference here? Like, I genuinely feel like I'm just looking at the same image twice. Like, alright, let's genuinely try to, like, find a difference here. Like, I'm, I'm like, squinting in everything, trend. Like, I guess I can slightly see a difference here, but it's, like, at the same time, the only difference is probably, like, the angle. Like, this is at, like, a slightly different angle than this photo. Like, the difference is... I, I mean, the leaves look a little more clear, but it's, like... Dude, like, I actually have to Where's Waldo this shit. Like, that's the only way you can actually tell the difference difference between these i'm actually getting so worked up about this bro then they showed the difference between uh the spider-man remastered this is uh ps5 and ps5 pro and the only actual difference here is the positioning of the 
cars. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is. Like, the reflections look basically the same. Like, what's the difference here? <laughs> like, I guess the leaves look slightly more crispier here, but it's like, it's one of those things that you actually have to go out of your way to find out. Before, like, the naked eye cannot see, like, any actual difference here. Like, you'll only notice the leaves if I point it out. And even then, I won't have a PS5 and a PS5 Pro next to each other to compare. <laughs> like, otherwise, nobody's gonna tell the difference. Now, Critical talked about this, and, you know, he does make a fair point here. This is like the only actual like benefit of the ps5 pro and it's supposed to be an actual frame rate boost right the majority of games on the ps5 are locked behind 60 fps and if you're a pc nerd like me jesus christ i'm i'm like looking down at ps5 sometimes jesus christ y'all play spider-man remastered at 60 fps come on i'm using it as background footage and it's probably like 160 fps like goddamn i know i'm not i'm not gonna be one of those people they, they the only pc players that look down at console players are the ones with like neck beards and probably moderate like five servers at a time like like i don't care if you like playing on console play on console i'm not i'm not gonna judge but i am gonna judge this console this sucks so I, i'm not on track let me get back on track here's the last of us part two running on ps5 pro it has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. And there's a noticeable difference there, right? You can clearly see that. So I'll give a point to, to the PS5 Pro there for actually nailing that. But at the same time, for $700, you can get like a medium spec PC with that kind of money. Like invest in like a good monitor and you're playing Spider-Man Remastered at like 160 FPS. Like, like tr I don't think the $700 price point is worth it at all. And, and, and that's not like the minority opinion in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> at this point, the graphic differences are really almost unnoticeable. A $700 US USB console with no disk drive is absolutely diabolical. Yeah, you can't even- oh my god, I completely didn't even notice that. Yeah, they just cut off the disk drive, that's- that's wild. Damn, so if your parents got you a physical copy of a game and you have a PS5 Pro, fuck you. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Do games at least come with digital codes in case, like, this mistake happens? Because if they don't, then that that's gonna suck a lot. 800 euro for a mid-gen refresh? That's ridiculous. Just here to see how many people are pissed off by this. Maybe if he said, here's a tease of our new upcoming first-party games taking advantage of PS5 Pro, but no. Here's a $700 Pro playing your old games better. <laughs> the fact that next week's rumor is a similar state of play is crazy. Sony admitted 30 fps choppy wow <laughs> you didn't realize that oh yep exactly what i said 700 dollars. at this point you're better off just building a pc you could get some decent like gaming laptops for 700 dollars. the only actual drawback would be you can't play playstation exclusive games like spider-man but if you're trying to play games like cod or like spider-man remastered like you could play that on pc like you're probably watching pc gameplay right now so yeah this this entire situation is really stupid yeah sony let's just ignore the first two years of scale and no one able to get their hands on PS5 while you act like when it came out, it changed the landscape. Living in your own world there. This is... this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, what is everyone's thoughts on this matter? Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go now, so... yeah. Okay, see you.